this just in it is officially sunday which means it is time for our new makeup release sunday we have some breaking makeup news Lamb light officially announced their new chucky x good boy collection did hourglass dupe danessa myricks are we having the year of the blush we have some new indie makeup that is launching this week and are we going to be saving money this week or spending it let's find out so with that said we're going to go ahead and jump into today's new makeup releases with our amazing host Allie. Allie, take it away <laughs> That's right. We have some amazing makeup news today. This is my favorite series to film and it's when I sit back, relax, and talk about all the new makeup releases. So we're going to go ahead and dive right on in. Alrighty guys. So I have no breaking news today because I, um, <laughs> I haven't read this week. I have been very lackluster on my reading because I have just, I don't know, not been in the mood. But I do have some new makeup to talk about. So first up, we have the new Glam Light -like collaboration with Chucky. I guess the Good Boy Collection. Y'all, I called it. I have been calling it for weeks that they were going to be launching their new Chucky Part 2 collection. If you guys don't follow Anthony or Glam Light over on TikTok, they consistently, I mean like no, but they like consistently leak their new products or reveal their new products way before they reveal it anywhere else. They're consistently talking about their new setting powders, their Halloween 2 collection. I think they're even doing a trick or treat collection. They've been showing off the good boy Chucky collection for quite some time. I've been knowing there's two makeup bags. There's a Chucky bag and a Tiffany bag. They have been broadcasting it for quite some time because well, they like to do sneak peeks over there. Now we haven't gotten the full details of this launch. I do know that the PR box, I believe retails for about $140 or like $120, somewhere around that price point. And the only reason why I know that is because Anthony was live over on TikTok last night. I saw him showing off the entire PR box and that's how I know this. So that's how I know the price point. I do know the collection is coming out sometime this week. I don't know the exact reveal date or what's truly going to be in it because they're going to be releasing one item at a time, kind of showcase it, getting everybody teased up to the actual launch. I'm sure the launch probably is going to be this Friday. If I had to assume, I would say like July 5th timeframe, it may be July 4th, right around there is where we're going to be launching this collection. Now, my question is to you, are you guys excited for the new Glam Light collaboration with Chucky part two? Are you guys excited about it? Because I know the first collection sold out within five minutes. What are your opinions on the new Glam Light launch? Let me know down below. I'm excited because I really did enjoy the first Chucky collection, but I really want to know the color story. I want to know, is this color story going to be very similar to the first color story? Or are we going to have like pops of bright colors in here, like bright blue, red, white, yellow, like the good boy Chucky image versus the creepy <laughs> What was that? Chucky image that we all know and love. Are we going to get like the one that's in the box? It's like, I'm a good boy. <laughs> Play with me. You know what I mean? I'm so curious as to what we are going to have. Only thing I can say is that time will tell us what is coming out with the new Glam Light collaboration with Chucky Part 2. This is Anthony's collection. He's on the partner up with Universal to get the first one. So this is his second one right here. And as always, when it comes to Glam Light, you guys can use code ALLYD, which will save you guys 15% off anything over at Glam Light. So as soon as I know more information about this launch, I will absolutely let you guys know. Up next, Lunar Beauty just dropped their first ever liquid blushes. Y'all, this seriously is the year of the liquid blush. I feel like everybody is doing <laughs> liquid blushes right now. Some are a little bit late to the game in my personal opinion because liquid blush has been out for quite some time, but brands are finally starting to catch up. And Luna Beauty just, just decided to launch six new liquid blushes. Now these do retail for $25 a piece. You can bundle them. You can buy two, I believe get one free. You guys can use my code Allie, which will save you guys 10% off this collection or anything on Luna Beauty's website. However, my codes do not apply to bundle because they just don't apply to bundles, which is totally fine. Um, but you guys can use my code if you guys wanna buy a blush individually. I know I'm on the PR list with Lunar Beauty. I just don't know when these are coming in. Um, shipping with Lunar, Lunar Beauty sometimes is a little like hit or miss. Sometimes I get it like two weeks after it launched, which is fine. I'm still very grateful, but I don't really know the qualities of these. They do look super, super pigmented. They look full coverage. They look really beautiful. I'm super excited to try this out. I think the shade that I kind of try out is like Pumpkin Poppy because you guys know I love a good like orangey peachy blush. I also kind of want to try out the shade called Bloom Bella as well. These look really beautiful. I love Lunar Beauty. Their quality speaks volumes and I just love that like 
there's not that many launches within there's not that many launches this brand comes out with every single year so the ones that so when they do launch items i get super excited about it because they're not being overwhelmed with launch after launch after launch so it's kind of nice so this is available now if you guys do want to get your hands on it and i cannot wait to try it and let you guys know my thoughts up next we have another makeup collection for the fall season y'all these luxury brands are like <laughs> let's start rolling out their fall and their holiday let's start rolling out their fall and holiday launches because <laughs> frankly they will never scream the season that they're trying to come out with but that is just my personal opinion so christian dior is rolling out their fall 2024 makeup collection it's going to come with a five color eyeshadow palette this is going to come it's going to have five colors eyeshadow palettes and four different type of colors I guess um they're gonna have a cushion foundation case and a lipstick case and let me tell you <laughs> ain't none of these palettes scream fall to me maybe maybe the 663 one maybe with a little bit of the orange and the um yellow but like nothing else is fall like where do you see the fall <laughs> I will wait I will sit here and wait until you can show me where the fall colors are <laughs> I forgot to tell you, by the way, that you are looking extra, extra scrumptious today. You were so beautiful. I'm so beyond grateful that you guys are spending your Sunday with me, little old me, because you guys are the most beautiful things on the planet, and you need to know that today. So I think we waited long enough, and I still don't see the fall. So these brands need to stop saying they're fall because they're not. And they're probably overpriced. And this is an easy pass. Very easy up next we have a new bronze and protect spf bronzing concentrate it's from a brand called Sealy cecily i don't know i've never heard of this brand before but this is a mineral spf 50 plus bronzing drops concentrate that can be mixed into skincare foundation or used to add definition and warmth highly pigmented liquid bronzer that delivers a real sun-kissed effect to the skin and a luminous protective finish there are two shades they're innovative and it retails for 36 dollars. this will be available as of july 2nd on their website and sephora i'm gonna pass but two shades oh man talk about innovation right there <laughs> easy pass at least with like drugstore brands they offer more shade variations between like fair to light and then light to medium and then medium to deep i don't see that with this i just see two variations noise it's not even like for deep shade either <laughs> Ooh, did i not tell you that it was the year of the look of blush right now because it looks like um ysl is launching their version of liquid blushes in the make me blush collection this is a second skin effect liquid blush highly pigmented formula and a light texture that melts into the skin for a long lasting healthy glow for 12 hours there's only going to be six shades it's coming soon to their website and we have no price points if i had to take a gander okay if i had to take a guess i'm going to say this is probably going to be around like 40 to like 45 dollars let's just take a gander and the reason why I say that, look at me using big girl words, is because their lip balm, their lip balm is like an actual like lip balm retails for like 35, almost 40. Then I need to up my math. I need to up my math. Then their liquid blush is probably like 50. Mm, 48.99. We're going to go there. We're going to go there and we're going to check back to see if I was right. But I probably will pass on this just because it's going to be so expensive for what it is. I personally love like a good drugstore liquid blush. Like the e.l.f. one, oh my god, phenomenal. Even House Labs has a fantastic blush for like 20 something bucks. Huda Beauty's liquid blush is like 20 bucks. Lunar Beauty, I haven't tried it, but that's 25. Like you don't, there's no need to make it so expensive. I think it's just the name behind it that makes it super duper expensive for no reason. When you can try out a drugstore that works out just, that works just as much, if not better. Salt Air. Salt Air. Air. I've heard of this brand, but I never tried it. It always reminds me of that one movie with Gwyneth Paltrow. I think it's called like Up, Up in the Air, something like that, where she's like a flight attendant. Her first time ever being in an airplane, she got her first job like getting a flight attendant, and she gets on the airplane for the first time and it starts to take off, and she's like, Ah! <laughs> that was me, my first time flying. Um, that's what this kind of reminds me of. But this is, but they are launching a new lip oil bomb. This is a conditioning lip oil balm it's a conditioning lip oil features a slippery cushiony balm feel formulated with coconut oil 
and shea butter and it has plant derived esters and this oil combines this oil balm nourishes and hydrates dry lips with a subtle sheen for nine dollars and there's gonna be six shades like i said i've never tried salt air before so i really can't tell you guys the quality of this brand what people think of this brand but i do like the fact that it's nine dollars it makes it super affordable compared to so many other lip balms out there so i do like that maybe one day i'll try it. if it's at sephora Maybe I'll try it. Oh, would you look at that? It's a brand that I have never tried because me and this brand <laughs> will never see eye to eye. We will never compromise between my wallet and its price point. And that is Valentino. They're launching their new um, spiked extra matte lipsticks. These are in nude in pink colors with the matte spiky gold packaging. So you know that gold packaging is going to make it like $75. <laughs> You know what I mean? For a lipstick. For a lipstick. Okay, so up next, Hourglass sort of duped Danessa Myricks when it came to their packaging. So Hourglass is launching their brand new liquid blush. Can you believe that? Like I said, this is the year of the damn blushes. <laughs> okay. They're launching their brand new Unreal Liquid Blush. There's going to be seven different shades. It's coming soon to the website. But I saw the component and I was like, I think I've seen this film before. And I didn't like the ending. Because I have it. I have it right here in my Danessa Myrex Yummy Powder Serum. This looks like the exact same component that Hourglass is launching with. Now, I am not oblivious to the fact that there are so many brands that buy from the same manufacturer or production company. Like I had a wonderful conversation with Angelica about this, but not only just with that, I remember when I used to be a big fan of Jeffree Star, they used to dive in deep to how makeup was made and how the processes are made and like how Kylie Cosmetics would charge like $25 for like a lipstick and yet it only cost them pennies to freaking make. Like I loved that series that Jeffree Star did with Shane Dawson, really exposing the makeup, really exposing the beauty industry as a whole. And there's only so many different manufacturers that manufacture the same thing. And I know that like when I had a conversation with Angelica, she goes to a convention called Cosmoprof and it's where all these beauty brands and not just beauty brands, but just brands as a whole can go and they can see samples of packaging, of like formulas, of uh, brushes, like so many different things where they were retail it where these, you know, manufacturers will go and they'll show off their palettes and or they'll show off their empty packages or their empty, uh, pr you know, empty components and say, hey, you can put your product in this. And so many brands see that and they love it and then they buy it. That's why so many brands out there look so similar in terms of their packaging. Like there's no way that Hourglass could have saw this and go, oh my God, could have saw Danessa Marks and said, oh my God, we want that because it takes a long time for makeups to get, for makeup to get produced. At least like six to eight weeks just for production alone, not including testing out formula, testing out packaging. So I know that they didn't just exactly dupe them. I'm pretty sure they all probably went to the same convention, saw this and were like, that's a great component. You know what I mean? So yes, they're duping, but at the same time, they're really not because they probably got the idea at the same time. Now, the only thing I want to know is that this is a great like water dropper. Okay. Now they're supposed to have a look of blush. This I'm always a little bit of product for you guys. I'm <laughs> doing my due diligence as a reviewer. This, you just push the little button at the bottom and push the little button at the bottom. Seems that mine is crusted over one second. <laughs> Oopsie daisy. Okay. Well, you know what? <laughs> I haven't used this in like two weeks and I guess it crusted over. You know what that looks like? Um, for some reason, my dropper is not going to come out. I'm going to have to get this fixed. Um, I might have to probably take this out and like maybe try to clean it somehow. I don't know. It's getting dry and crusty, but this is what I'm talking about. So the liquid comes out and you do like two little drops, liquid drops out. How are you going to do the liquid blush? Because the liquid blush is probably going to be very thick unless it's like a serum based blush, which it doesn't say that it is. So like a serum blush, a serum base blush might be a little bit more liquidy like the uh, makeup by mario one the serum bronzer is more like a liquidy like water base is that what they're gonna do for the blushes because if so that component makes sense otherwise how else is it gonna come out of here is it gonna be too thick is it gonna clog it up because right now this is like water and i cannot get it to drop out so <laughs> very curious about this how this new hourglass product is going to work not to mention it's probably going to be stupid money because hourglass is just a really expensive brand for what it is in my opinion so i'm genuinely really curious on this one i'm gonna be paying attention to this next we have a new collection from givenchy givenchy is launching their new rose perfecto collection this is going to come with a liquid blom 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 a liquid bomb for 39 dollars <laughs> 
seriously, a Rose Perfecto Look a Bomb for $39. And it looks like that's it. Just we have two new Look a Blom. Blom. Oh my god, Ali, why are you saying Blom? Bomb. Look what Bomb. <laughs> I'm, I can't even articulate the words for it because it's just too overwhelming. I'm just so overwhelmed by this launch that I don't think I can get it. Up next, MAC Cosmetics is launching their brand new Glow Play Collection. This is going to include cushiony blushes and a Tender Talk lip balms. Oh my god, lip balms are also the new rage. The lip balms are going to be pH activated color shifting tints, 24 hour moisture with 91% and naturally derived ingredients. This is coming soon on their website. It is available right now currently in Asia. Um, I'm probably going to pass. I have not shopped MAC Cosmetics in a very long time. It's one of those brands that like, it's kind of cool to see they're still around, but they just they don't inspire me in the, in the slightest. They don't get me excited in the slightest. Like, MAC used to be the brand, and now, I don't know. I never really hear anyone talk about it, but they're still around, so they're obviously doing something right. And these luxury brands are not playing, but it looks like YSL is launching some more eyeshadow quads. These retail for $68. <laughs> oh, my God. And they're rolling out with four new shades. Now, um... This one right here, the over orange, the 810 over orange, this definitely looks a little bit more fall themed compared to Dior, but I just, I can't justify, I can't justify. I do have one YSL that was sent to me and I was so surprised, but I would never justify spending almost $70 on four shadows. That is just so crazy when so many indie brands have better quality and even drugstore better quality that I just, I can't, I love YSL, but like, hot damn like that is like you know a couple dinners you know what I mean so uh pass but I will say that one orange shade, that orange one does look really pretty that looks more fall to me than Dior they should show them what fall means Alrighty. so up next it looks like Tarte is coming out with a brand new Tartlet Reflections 25 year anniversary Amazonian clay palette this retails for $54 and it said the shades to celebrate the memories made over the years 10 shimmers, 12 mattes, 3 glimmer, three glitters, and 3 satins. This is vegan and cruelty free. It is available now. I will say this is kind of cute. Like, it's kind of cute. Surprisingly, I find it kind of cute. I don't know why I do, but like, I'm like, she's cute. And that's pretty cool. They've been around for 25 years. 25 years. So they're around since I was like 9 years old. <laughs> wow, I just totally ate myself. Damn, what was I doing at 9? Did I even know about Tarte? No, I probably didn't. No, I was, uh... What was I doing at nine? Probably jamming out to Britney Spears. Mm -hmm. Yep. But I should have been doing when I was nine years old, actually. What I should have been doing, and I told my parents, this was my mistake as a nine year old. I should have been learning, I should have been investing in a home at nine years old. Do you know what I mean? I should have been saving my money, investing, and buying a house when I was nine. I should have been doing that. I, I fed up. I up as a nine year old instead of learning the cursive that I was learning and singing to Britney Spears and like and singing all them, I should have been buying a home and investing in my future. I messed up. Yeah, I messed up. Big time. And I should have been investing in Tarte. You know, maybe maybe I'd be on those Tarte board board trips now if I was a that nine year old buying that brand and doing YouTube videos. YouTube wasn't a new thing, but you know, I could have started it. I could have started it. Up next, I don't know if this is like a theme right now, but Lush is doing a collaboration with Ninja Turtles. I know that Perfusion just did it and now Lush is doing it. And they're rolling out with four brother bath bombs. Krong shower jelly, peace love and pizza bath bomb, a green machine bubble bath, a turtle power solid body body scrub, a gungala shampoo bar and face cloth pack of three. I was never a Ninja Turtle fan. I did not grow up Ninja Turtles. So for me, none of this excites me, unfortunately, just because like I said, I never grew up with this brand. So, or this, this, I never grew up with the show or anything like that, so I don't really know anything about them. Um, so for me, this is an easy pass just because I was never a fan. Up next, Kay Alley revealed their new Odegasm Rose Ode Hair Mist. So this is going to be notes of pear, lemon, germanium, Bulgarian rose, peony, um, vanilla Madagascar, cashmere wood and ode what does ode smell like i would like to know but they're rolling out with their hair mist now little does kate ollie know um i use their stuff as just hair mist anyway even if it's a perfume <laughs> it can go on my hair i mean it does i just kind of go 
You know what I mean? So this looks cool. I would have to smell it in personal because I really don't like rose scented products. I just feel like rose scented products, there's nothing wrong with this. It's just my personal taste. Just kind of reminds me of like old ladies that sit there with little doilies and they just crochet and they just smell like mothballs and roses <laughs> it's not my favorite scent in the world and i'm so sorry if i offend anybody with that because if you love it hey that's you know hey that's amazing i just i, I don't think it mixes well with me so I'm, I'm gonna pass up next it looks like wet and wild is rolling out with new wild lip oils so this can be formulated with seven different oils they retail for five dollars and 98 cents very specific price point and they're available now at walmart wet and wild is one of those brands that i feel like i like but like don't like i love how affordable they are but then i go and buy the products and i try them and like this is so cheap i don't like it like some i do but most times or more often than not i don't like their eyeshadow palettes Oof, they're rough they are rough. I have reviewed them quite a bit, especially when they do like a really cool stuff like their Lilo and Stitch collection or they did like their Scooby-Doo, like their, their Snoopy and the Gang collection. Like the eyeshadows are just not great quality, but it's also super affordable. Now, some of you guys out there said you guys love some of the stuff from Wet n Wild, but I think it's just one of those brands. I like some products and I don't like some products. Like their complexion products, eh. But the lip products, I like. I like so this is something i definitely would try some lip oils because i'm always down to find a good lip oil and i love how affordable it is but it is available now if you guys do want to get your hands on it okay hey guys so this next launch i'm actually really excited because i did a video earlier this year on the pantone color of the year and gourmand girls just did it they're launching a brand new peach perfect palette this is in collaboration with doodle, doodle by the bunny and this is like the perfect peach palette it does launch on july 2nd at 10 a.m central time which would be 11 a.m eastern standard time i don't know the price point on this but you guys can use my code to save 10 percent off i think this is beautiful i think this is perfect in time for the summer season and i definitely want to play with this it looks like it would smell amazing it also looks like it would like blend amazingly i love so many of the gourmand girls palettes like their, their halloween collection fire every single time i'm still obsessed with this boot palette probably one of my favorites from that brand and i'm really excited to try this so i'll try to pick it up if i can and do a review for you guys because it looks so beautiful and i'm so excited for it last but not least we have this we have this right here and i am wearing a new collection that you guys will see in tomorrow's video this collection is going to come with an eyeshadow palette and three highlighters and three blushes which i actually am wearing all over the face i'm wearing the blush i'm wearing the highlighter and i am wearing the eyeshadow palette right here now i did film two looks for this collection this i did not film i know i'm so sorry i suck as a content creator but i just kind of want i kind of want to play around with it because in my video for tomorrow that you guys will see i talked about how you could do a neutral eye look with this collection and this is it right here, sort of neutral, because I did add a pop of color because you, <laughs> your girl couldn't resist. But this is it right here, super beautiful. So when you guys see my video tomorrow, just know if you want to see how I did this. I, I didn't film it, but you guys can take a look at it because I just used three neutral shades and I point them out what they are in tomorrow's video right here. And the blush is blushing and the highlighter, y'all this is gorgeous so stay tuned to tomorrow's video where you guys will see everything about what i'm wearing on my face and all of that that is it for our new makeup releases sunday <laughs> i don't know what else to call it but i want to know your guys' thoughts down below what are you guys most excited about are you guys not excited are you guys excited let me know especially let me know your thoughts on glam light i know that you guys do love the brand but i've been seeing some comments lately where you guys are just kind of over the brand i want to hear your true honest thoughts let me know down below should i do a dedicated video for it should i not i want to know but with that said guys that is it for today's video guys if you guys like today's video please make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thumbs up don't forget to subscribe my channel if you guys have not already because i do post three to four videos every single week make sure you guys head over to my other channels r for life you guys get to see my cool wonderful adventures with my amazing husband Corey. and as always the biggest thank you goes to these beautiful wonderful page members you guys see right here thank you guys so much for everything and to my subscribers and viewers thank you guys so much for being here whether you guys like this video you guys thumbs down this video you guys subscribed you guys did not subscribe either way thank you guys so much for being here i love and appreciate each and every single one of you so with that said guys i love you and i'll see you guys in my very next video